Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Thanks for watching my lecture. Today I am going to speak about uh, two important um, scalar fields or vector fields in different applications of continuum mechanics, especially in fluid mechanics, which are called the potential function and the string function. Uh, as I know in elasticity theory, we have a similar concept uh, called the uh, Avery potential function. But uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about the direct application of these two important concepts in Floyd dynamics. Okay, before uh, defining these two uh, concepts, let's uh, talk about the Helmholtz decomposition. This is a mathematical theory which can be applied to any field of science. Um, so, let's start. Uh, the Helmholtz decomposition uh, talks about the decomposition of a vector field into two parts. You see here we have a vector field. This is an arbitrary vector field, which can be the velocity, the velocity vector, for example. It can be written as a sum of, a, sum of two uh, parts. The first part is the kernel of a, 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 another vector field, and the second part is the gradient of a scalar field. You know gradient of a scalar is a vector, and the curl of the vector again is a vector. So, uh, any vector field is, um, uh, is the kernel of a vector plus the gradient of a scalar. This is the, uh, the Helmholtz decomposition. Uh, there is a gauge condition. The divergence of the vector field A has to be zero. This is the gauge condition of that relation. Okay, you see the, the first term, the right hand side, uh, is the rotational part. And the second term is the irrotational part. The reason is that the other name of the rotational part is the solen solenoidal part. When the divergence of something is a zero, we say that uh, that field is divergence less or divergence free or solenoidal. This uh, solenoidal is a special name of divergence less uh, field. Okay? So, uh, since if you uh, have a quantity, which that quantity is the curl of uh, another quantity, the divergence of curl of anything is zero. This is a vector identity. Again, divergence of curl of any arbitrary vector is zero. So the curl of uh, the vector A appears here. So this term uh, is divergence less or divergence free. So we call it the solenoidal part. Okay? Because it's divergence less or divergence free. The second term, uh, we have another well known quantity. Uh, which is the curl of the gradient of any scalar field is zero. Curl of gradient of any scalar field is zero. The second term is uh, gradient of something. So its curl is a zero. We, uh, when the curl of something is zero, we say that vector quantity is irrotational. So the second part is the irrotational part because it's curl free. The first term is a rotational part or, part, or so the solenoidal part, because it's divergenceless. Then when this vector is uh, called the vector potential, and the scalar field F is the scalar potential. So we have two potential functions. The first one is uh, vector potential, and the second is scalar potential. Take the, the curl of both sides of this equation, so we have the curl of uh, u, u can be any arbitrary vector field, uh, is equal to the curl of, curl of a, curl of, curl of a, plus zero, because curl of gradient of anything is zero. So, uh, we have to use another vector quantity here, because the curl of, curl of any vector can be written as the gradient of divergence of that vector field, minus Laplacian of that vector field. This is a vector quantity, identity. This is a vector identity. So we have the gauge condition here that uh, the vector field A is divergenceless. So the first term in the right hand side is zero because we have gradient of divergence of A. So the second term uh, only remains 
And uh, this equation reduces to the Laplacian of A is equal to the minus the curl of U. Similar, uh, similarly, if you take the divergence of both sides, you have a divergence of U here. The divergence of curl of anything is zero, plus divergence of gradient of F is the Laplacian of F. So uh, again, Laplacian of F is equal to this time the divergence of U. So, uh, you see that the, the Laplacian of F is equal to the divergence of U. The Laplacian of A, which is the vector potential, is equal to the minus the curl of U. Uh, these two equations are called the Poisson, Poisson equation. Uh, when the Laplacian of something is equal to a non-zero quantity, but this, these equations are Poisson type equations. If the right hand side of both equations are zero, they reduce to the Laplace equation.